Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to automatically add bleed and crop marks to your PDF exports from Figma using the Tiny Image plugin. So if you're new to this concept, bleed and crop marks are basically used for printing documents. So if you're sending a design to a printer, they always require this little bit of extra uh, few millimeters at the edges here and these trim marks to basically add a bit of buffer so that when they cut the design uh, to the correct size, it doesn't leave white space at the edges. So we're basically gonna be extending our original design by a few millimeters externally based on the original dimensions and automatically add these trim lines so that the printer knows where to cut it and you won't end up with these white areas at the edges there. So now that we've finished that quick 20 second primer of what bleed and crop marks are, I'm gonna show you a few examples of doing this automatically in Figma. So I've got this business card design here that I wanna to export to a PDF and we're gonna first open up the tiny image plugin. So all you need to do is go to your Figma file, click on the little resources icon at the top here. And then if you search for tiny image, so that's T-I-N-Y-I-M-A-G-E. And under the plugins tab, if you click on the tiny image result, you can run that plugin by clicking on this run button here, or you can click on this little bookmark icon to save it to your plugins list for easy access. So I've already clicked on that save icon. So I'm just gonna go to my canvas, right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on the tiny image plugin. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So to export these frames to a PDF, what we can do is click on this little create PDF button in the top of the plugin header. And that's gonna automatically fetch all of the frames on our current page. So these are all the top level Figma frames. And you can select which ones you wanna include in the PDF. You can rearrange those based on different uh, orders. So you can do it by column, you can do it by rows, you can do it by layer order, or manually rearrange them in the UI as well. But for today, I'm just gonna keep it really simple and just do it by rows. So once you've got that set up, all you need to then do is configure your options down here. So you can select the DPI. If you're doing it for print, you probably wanna to go to 300 DPI, uh, but you can change that to whatever you like and customize anything down here as well. If you like, you can change this to CMYK, for example, so we can do that. And then what you wanna do is just enable this toggle down here that says add bleed. So we're gonna enable the add bleed toggle and by default, that's gonna add three millimeters of bleed, which we just looked at before. So this is this red area here, and that's gonna automatically add that three millimeter buffer or bleed uh, to our design. So you can customize this. So if you need it to be five millimeters or two millimeters, you can change that. But the typical use case is about three millimeters. So we're just gonna leave that as three. And then you've got the option, which is turned on by default of including the crop marks. So those are these little lines here that kind of intersect at the top of each of the corners. And that'll just give the printer uh, the lines for it to use essentially a guillotine to slice that to the original uh, document dimensions. So that's gonna crop off this bleed area and just leave you with this inner area here. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So we're gonna export that by clicking on the export PDF button in the plugin. And that's just gonna go through and export those four Figma frames to a new PDF and automatically add that bleed and crop area uh, to our PDF export. So I'm just gonna save that to my desktop and you can open that in whatever PDF reader you like. I'm just gonna open this up in the Mac preview for now. And you can see it's automatically added our crop marks to each of those pages in the PDF. So what that's essentially done is it has stretched the uh, PDF, so the original dimensions, uh, which are here. It's added three millimeters around that uh, edge and it's extended the design uh, outside of that as well by those three millimeters. And then it's included those crop marks so that the printer knows where to crop it. So essentially this area where these crop marks intersect, that is the original dimensions of your Figma frame here. And the frame has essentially got an extra three millimeters, as you can see in these corners here, added to the outside so that when it gets cropped off, it will exclude any of that extra content and give you a nice clean cut. So that's a really simple example. We've got a few other examples we can try as well. So you can see here, we've got another one, which is a poster. So I'm just gonna rerun the Figma plugin in here. So we're gonna open up tiny image in this new Figma file, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna go to create PDF. This time we've only got one frame, so that's totally fine. It's just gonna give us a PDF with one uh, page on it. And again, we're gonna click on the add bleed toggle. We're gonna keep the crop marks on and then export that to PDF. 
And once this is done, I'm just going to save that to my desktop again. And one more time, I'm just going to preview that. So you can see here, we've got our crop marks. And because this is a much bigger frame, so it's not a business card, we can zoom in and see those crop marks. So that's still at a three millimeter uh, edge, but because the design is much bigger, obviously that relative size appears much smaller when we look at it on the computer. But you can see that it's added those crop marks in. And you can also notice that on this particular design, because it's a different color design in each corner, the plugin is automatically making sure that those crop marks are inverted. So they're always visible in the design. So you can see here, because we've got a black background in this section and a white background in this other section, that's automatically being accounted for when it gets created and it's giving those crop marks the correct contrast. So that's what that looks like there. And finally, I'll just show you one more example of those two things put together. So if we click on this last Figma file example, again, I'm just gonna rerun the tiny image plugin. And this time we've got a few different uh, files. So we've got a few different designs here and each of them have a different color background. And they're about 1080 by 1080 pixels, which would translate to uh, some size that's larger than these business cards, but smaller than this poster. So I'm just gonna export that as a last uh, preview of what this can look like. So I'm gonna, again, click on the create PDF button. And then I'm just gonna make sure that all of my frames are selected. So I've got those selected there. Again, you can rearrange these however you like. You can change the DPI as needed. Uh, and again, we're just gonna click on the add bleed option. We'll set it to CMYK just for print. And this time, maybe we wanna do a five millimeter bleed. So we can just change that to five, keep those crop marks on. If you don't need the crop marks and you just need that extra bleed area, you can obviously turn off the crop marks option and that will exclude those corner crop marks while leaving that extra bleed uh, around the edges. But we're gonna leave the crop marks on and click on export PDF. So once this finishes exporting, we should get a new PDF with five pages, all with the bleed of five millimeters included and those crop marks uh, as well. So this is just optimizing the pages. It's gonna save that so we can add that to our desktop. And if we open up that file, so we'll just open up in the preview. And again, you can see here that the crop marks have been added. So we've got a five millimeter bleed area and the crop marks are being included. So that's looking really good. And as I said, the contrast will change based on the background color. So if you've got a darker background or a lighter background, the plugin will automatically make sure that those crop marks are visible. And that's gonna make sure that uh, you're not getting invisible crop marks if you're using a dark background or a light background. Uh, it's always gonna show up as you would expect. So that's looking really good. That's basically giving us our extra bleed area with the background included. So we're gonna get a nice clean crop once that gets sent off to the printer and that's going to look really good uh, with those crop marks included. So yeah, that's basically it. If you've been wondering how to automatically add bleed and crop marks to your Figma PDF exports, this is a really quick way of going about it just with that one click of enabling the add bleed toggle in the tiny image plugin. And again, you can customize those millimeters here. You can even go down to, you know, half a millimeter if you really wanted to. But again, three millimeters is pretty standard. So I would probably just leave it at that unless your printer specifies otherwise. And again, you can add or remove those crop marks along with the bleed uh, and also set the CMYK color profile if you wanna enable that as well. So yeah, I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to optimize your PDF exports from Figma for print, so CMYK, bleed and crop marks, these are gonna get you most of the way there. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.